Last week I got a Nintendo DS touchscreen from SparkFun. I've been playing around with connecting it up to an Arduino. So what I've got here is um, four analog uh, connections to the Arduino and I'm reading the XY values off the touchscreen and pumping them back out the serial port. So what you can see here are the XY values of the uh, position of the stylus. But that in itself is pretty boring. So what I've also done is written a little program in processing which is a visualization of a 3D cube and that'll take a moment to start up and what this program is doing is listening to the serial port and reading the XY values that are sent in from the touch screen and then using that to adjust the camera position so by um, touching the stylus on here and moving it around I can change the camera position and I can move around the little cube and it's set up so that if I let go of the screen it retains its position as to whatever it was before. It's taking absolute values but it's buffering the last value red so you can just touch anywhere on the screen to go immediately to that viewpoint. What I've also been playing around with is connecting up the output of the touchscreen values and sending it off to another Arduino which is running the um, USB fake keyboard shield what this means is that I can detect regions on the touch screen and then send key press events back through um, to the host computer. And what I've done is set this up as a little game controller. So what I can do now is fire up a game of Frozen Bubble and we'll start a one player game. And I've got regions on the touch screen defined for left, right and fire. So now by touching left I can spin the little thing to the left and then press up the top to fire it and spin it around to the right. There's a green one, I can't get that in so I'll stick that on there and see if I can get the, the red. So now I have touchscreen control of a game that was never actually designed for touchscreen control obviously. <laughs> 